Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for June 2nd of 2024 is titled Rotating Moon from LRO. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a video of the moon rotating and we'll go ahead and start the video so we can watch it as we discuss it. So we'll see the moon and it'll starts out as we're not used to seeing the moon. But then we will start to see a completely different side of the moon. And that is what is called the far side of the moon, because it is always pointed away from Earth. And we see that it looks quite different than the near side. Now the near side will rotate back into view with the darker maria that highlight the moon and what we're used to seeing when we look at it. And then that will begin to rotate away again. And what we notice on the far side of the moon is that it is very heavily cratered. All craters all over the place and very few of the large maria. A few smaller dark areas that we can see scattered around, but not near as many as we see on the near side. Now, the near side is all we've known about for most of recorded history. And that is because the moon is tidally locked to Earth. It keeps one side always facing Earth and the other side always faces away. So it wasn't until the late 1950s when the first spacecraft from the Soviet Union flew around the moon and sent us back the first image of that far side that we had a chance to see what it looked like. And now we have a complete and much more detailed map of that. And we can see that here. These are images taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which orbits the moon and has mapped pretty much all of the moon's surface in pretty good detail. So while we've explored six small areas on the moon directly, and those are the only places where humans have landed on the moon, there are other places where rovers of different types from other countries have landed on the moon as well. But we only explored directly a very small portion of it. And this gives us a complete overview of the entire moon. And we can see really that it's a very old surface. And we learn that through the amount of cratering. The number of craters that you see on an object tells you about its age. So but even within a specific object, when you see lots of craters in one area, that means that that side has been exposed to the surface for a much longer period of time. Whereas those maria, those dark areas have fewer craters, they have not been exposed to space for quite as long. Now, in the case of the moon, it's the difference between the older areas being four to four and a half billion years old and those younger areas being three to three and a half billion years old. There really isn't a big difference between the two on the moon, but it makes a great difference in the appearance. Now other objects like Earth get just as many impacts as the moon and would have just as many craters. However, the Earth has plate tectonics that resurfaces the Earth on a regular basis and also has weathering effects that wear down craters very quickly, wind and water and other types of erosion. These don't exist on the moon, so we can still see craters on the moon that have been there for four and a half billion years going back to the origins of the moon and our Earth moon system itself. So that was our picture of the day for June 2nd of 2024. It was titled Rotating Moon from LRO. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.